Hello everybody, so we start another week, it's Monday morning, we're loaded with two cars. We've got a Jaguar to go to Paris, and we got the usual down to Geneva Motor Show, the usual um, product I carry, a lot of you will know what that is. Down to Geneva Motor Show to swap like we did last Thursday, and I think I'm going to have a visitor. Yeah, sorry about that interruption. I had a little bit of a discussion out there with the governor. So we better go. Uh, we're going to go to one of our usual places, Clackett Lane, have a lunch break, have a coffee and something to eat. I've got a £5 road chef voucher that I'm not going to waste this time like I did last time. So we better go and do it. Now, follow the road to the left. Oh, mate, thank you, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, mate. Yep, yeah, cheers. Morning everybody from a beautiful northern France. Look at this gorgeous morning. It is stunning. The sun is so warm. We've had so much rain overnight though. Yeah, so we drove um, about 45 minutes down from the boat last night. I didn't do a full vlog yesterday because we'd done it all before last week, so I'll just give us an overview. You know, you, you went all through that lot last week, so I didn't want to do a full day's vlog. So we're just having our cup of tea, look. We're all set up in here. Just doing this, doing our cup of tea. Don't know if you can see, but that's what we got on. That Jag, unbelievable. And that's what we got going to the motor show at Geneva. Usual stuff up top. But that thing is an unbelievable bit of kit. There's so much power in it. Yeah, so, the, so the Jag's going down to um, Paris. We can be there any time we like, so the time now is, is quarter to nine local time. So we're just going to have a cup of tea and a bit of cereal and then kick off. But this weather is, is amazing. It's a shame it didn't stay dry because it was raining when we came off the boat last night. It had been dry all the way down to Dover, so the truck was nice and clean. So that's all out the window from just coming down here last night. But if this weather stays like this, it's going to be a beautiful trip this time. Well, we've done nearly two and a half hours driving. I've stopped off for a break before we go down to Paris to get rid of this car it's about another 20 miles um, it's just outside of Paris it's not right in amongst at all we just stopped here for a break I've stopped here before um, when I had to have a car brought up to me by a chauffeur on the other side and then I drove it back to the truck I can't remember what number vlog that is but it has been vlogged it's, uh, oh, it's a few months ago now so we're going to go in there and see if we can find a latte. I know the other side, they've got a nice latte machine, so I'm hoping they've got one this side. Because I need a coffee. But it's nothing like a Costa. Really isn't. Well, the coffee wasn't much to write home about. Blech. And it was uh, 1 euro 80. Rubbish. Look at the blooming temperature. I don't believe that one bit. Is that right? It can't be right. Like I say, it's warm sitting in here, and it's yeah, you know, it's not bad outside. Um, we've taken all our padlocks off, ready for the quick get of the car off, because I don't know what the situation's going to be like when I get there. Uh, we did look at it on Google Maps. It's quite a wide road, so I'm hoping that it'll be easy to park. And there's no blooming trees, because if you it's pain a pain in the backside when you've got trees and you've got to get your doors open and things like that, because the side doors are quite large. Plus, I don't want to damage my truck. So we've got another another 20 minutes here on the brake. And we are 19 miles away from uh, delivery point. 30 minutes. All depending on traffic, of course, because it's on the outskirts of Paris. And um, hopefully it'll go fine. And then we can crack on down the road. 
have another break somewhere else and get in the Mac on tonight. Right, we're not far away from our delivery point now. Um, we're only apparently 736 yards. We've got to go down here and turn right. So this is when we've got to keep our wits about us because we've got idiots all around us that they all know where to go and I don't. Well, I assume they all know where to go. So we need to get over because we've got to turn right in a minute. After 200 yards, turn right, then turn right. Oh, it's smart yeah, out of the way, that's up my inner side, look. Turn right here, that's it. Saint Mond. Down through here. I assume we're allowed through here. Oh, we're coming through anyway. Stevie Bloke's coming through. After 300 yards, turn right. Look at right. all that fruit. Down the bottom of here and turn right again and it should come up on the right with a bit of luck backside sticking out of there is it this one yeah this one got to turn right here I don't think we can go left because we looked it on Google Maps and there's a three ton limit down there anyway but it is up here on the right because we Google Map we do. Google Map. I just hope it's right and we can park on the road. There's the three ton limit over there. Can we go around here? Oh, this blasted lock on this truck is ridiculous. That was as much as I had. And it should come up on the right and here it is on the right so we've got to block these cars I've got a lot of choice I don't think they're gonna have to wait if there's a we need to get out right let's go and see the people well that's the Jaguar gone, and what a nice experience that was. I don't know if you can see, yeah, it's a really, really nice showroom. Really nice guy called Jimmy in there. Couldn't be more helpful. He did give me his life story, but it was quite interesting. He made me a coffee, he's given me a small bottle of water to drink on the way. Um, but what a nice chap, I'd love to come here again really made me welcome cheered my day up really nice fresh cup of coffee and yeah brilliant it's quite nice really so we've got to find a way out of here now i'm not sure if we can turn i think we can get out up the road here let's see what the sat nav says let's, come on jane do your job you can tell i've had a nice cup of coffee and a nice experience okay because i'm all happy but yeah he wasn't expecting that jaguar as they call it but uh yeah so that's that, that's that first job done. So we've got to make our way down to Macon now. Let's see how long that's going to take. Come on, Jane. Come and hurry up, girl. You're being very slow today. Come on. Right, it's five hours now down to Macon. Um, let's see if we can get out up the top of there. Five hours to Macon. Yes, we can go out here. Yep, so that's it. We're ready to rock and roll. We'll do about two and a half, three hours, and then have a break. Left. We're straight out on the Peripherique here, whatever you say it. Boulevard Peripherique. That is the main sort of ring road that goes round Paris. It's normally a pain in the butt, but I am here at the right time of day, so I haven't experienced any bad traffic. It's been all good. Yeah, so next stop, somewhere between here and Macon. Yeah, we can go up here, <clears throat> go across the top of the, the Boulevard Peripherique, turn left, and then we're away. 
Look at all these herbits on the right here, look. Bloody down and outs. Right, gotta go up here. Is it this one? This one, that's it, it's this one. A little bit confusing this, it's a bit tight. It's tight. That give you a lot of room. Especially with this thing with hardly any blooming lock on it, it's rubbish. Alright, down here, and um, got a bit of traffic, look. But it's not too bad. Get out in amongst this lot and get going. Oh, not much of a slip road. It's marking that at me out. That was so easy, that drop. I think it couldn't have been easier. Coming in for our second break now, 10 past 3 local time. We're splitting this in half now because then we've got another 2 hours 45 minutes down to Macon. Get a bit sleepy back there, so I think Stevie Bloke needs a cup of coffee. Not that sleepy, but you know, I just need to sort of waken myself up a little bit. No need to go on any further, there's no mad rush. Oh, there's loads of room in here. I just remember this one. Look at this lot, though. Look at that van there. That's a good um, thing to have. They they always put those vans, the, the ones that have been smashed, they always stick them here as a reminder After of what could happen. After yards, follow the road to the right. Massive, great parking area. Now, follow the road to the right. I don't think we're back in there. Right out of the way, look. I have to mark this one down on the um, map, I think. It's so big. Nice one. You got a cup of coffee on the go now, and a cheese and pickle sandwich. Yeah, I can't believe how cold it's got out there from earlier on. Yeah, when I booked on this morning, that sun, when I was having my tea, was hot on my back. Unbelievable. It's gone all grey and overcast now, look. Bit miserable still. Yeah, you know, such is life. You've got to expect it this time of year. But when we were parked up having our first break, it said 21 degrees. What's all that about? Mmm. I really shouldn't do this eat and vlog at the same time. Yeah, so not a lot going on today again, is there? Yeah, there's only that delivery in Paris, which is a brilliant delivery. I'd go there again. Really nice people. Made me a nice cup of coffee. Nice chat. Like I say, he gave me his life story, but it was quite interesting. Yeah, he started off as a shoe salesman. Now he sells posh cars. Yeah, so you meet some really strange people and diverse people in this job. Most of them are nice. and Most of them are pleased to see you because you're bringing something that's good, you know. That Jaguar F-Type was an unbelievable thing. Five litre V8. God, what some power that had. When you start just starting it up, it roars. I'd love to give it some stick around a circuit. 
yeah so yeah that's it that's our lot of day we're just gonna have a break here now and then uh, toodle on down to Macon, and then we'll have a late start like we did last week because it's it's tomorrow night again let's just hope we don't have the trouble that we did last week with the blooming security yeah you know, that was the only downfall everything else went fine the stamping of the the um carnet in and out was fine but it's just a bloody security muppets but i just hope that andy that's down there gets it sorted out i'll ring him tomorrow when i'm parked at the border at switzerland so anyway i'm gonna finish this sandwich now you don't want to see me eating it do you right we're here again last payout of the day just coming into macon you know we we're here a week ago weren't we um it seemed like a week ago well it's a day early the day early this week not had a bad run up so there we go. Come on, just please. Yeah, so we just get in here and um, get a bit of fuel, and that'll last us till Friday when we get back. Last us the rest of the trip, and um, go and have a shower, and then knuckle down and do a bit of blooming editing because I'm way behind my editing again. Sorry for that, guys. You know, things are a little bit behind. But, you know, when you're away, you've got to do a job and edit and try and keep the quality of the blooming vlogs as best you can. Oh, by the way, uh, if anybody sees um, my speeded up footage, the GoPro footage, road footage. Um, now, well, if you're watching the vlogs, you will see it. But can you let me know the quality of it? Because it's all right once I've rendered it, and I've got the raw foot, raw, raw uh, file on my laptop. That's fine. As soon as it goes onto YouTube, I find that it's looking all pixely. So. Tomorrow I'm going to do a bit more road footage. I haven't done a lot today because that is, you know, it's putting me off a little bit. So um, if you can put a comment down below to say, you know, just let me know what the the uh, quality's like, I would much appreciate that because I'm real. It's real headache for me lately. It's... You have reached your destination. Thank you, Jane. Well, we're here now. Look, back again. So let's go and take our card in, and then we can get some fuel. Right, that's my day done, guys. I've had a lovely shower. I've had chicken curry for my dinner. I've had a couple of glasses of wine. And I've done a bit of editing, so quite a productive evening. So, I will see you tomorrow, guys. Thanks for joining me today. Um, we're doing the same as we did last week. Down to the border with Switzerland. Sit there for about three hours, into the motor show, and hopefully... That part of it will go smoother than last week. So good night guys. See you in the morning. Bye.